Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're told that the displacement in centimeters of a particle moving back and forth along a straight line is given by the equation of motion s is equal to 2 sine pi of t plus 3 cosine pi t, where t is measured in seconds. And so we're asked to find the average velocity during each time period. So in order to do this, what we're going to have to do is find the points associated with these values. So for example, 1 it can be 1, comma, and the y value is going to be 2 sine pi times 1 plus 3 cosine pi times 1. But this is going to be 1 times 2 sine of pi plus 3 cosine of pi. Which is going to be 1, 2 times 0 plus 3 times negative 1, which is going to be 1 negative 3. You find all of these points and then you have to find the velocity over this period will be, so let's say 2, 3 is another point. The velocity between this time period is going to be the slope between these two points. So you would have the change in y which would be 3 minus negative 3 over the change in x, 2 minus 1. 3 minus negative 3 is 6, 2 minus 1 is 1, 6 divided by 1 is 6, so therefore the average velocity over this time period, 1 to 2, I know it didn't calculate 2, but that'll be on the next page, can be found by the slope between these two points, and then you get 6. So here I have done the calculations, and as you can see, we have these points that are simply calculated by taking these x values and plugging them into the equation. So 1, 2, 1 1.1, 1 1.01, and 1.001, and they output all these points. And then I take the points associated with these intervals, so let's say 1 and 1.01 is the points 1, negative 3, and 1.01, negative 3.06. You find the slope between these two points, and you get this, negative 6.13. So if you want to just pause here, you can look at the math. But this is part A. Part B, we're asked to estimate the instantaneous velocity of the particle when t equals 1. So if you notice that these intervals, they go from being relatively large, right, 1 to 2, then they get smaller, 1 to 1.1, 1, .1, 1 to 1.0.1, 1, 1 to 1.001. 1 .001. We want this to get down to 0, right? We want it to just be instantaneous. And we can't calculate that because down here it would be 1 minus 1, which is 0. But we can look at this and say, okay, what values are these approaching as we get closer and closer to an interval of zero distance? And we can see that we're getting closer and closer, um, at, or as we get closer and closer, the distance between these jumps is getting smaller and smaller. So we have a jump of 10 here, but then a jump of 2, and then here it's a jump of only like uh, 0 0.1. So assuming that we only jump like another 0 0.1, then the velocity would be roughly negative 6.278 or negative 6.28 which we can recognize as negative 2 pi. If you didn't recognize this and you just said okay maybe it'll hit negative 6.3 that's fine but noticing that with this trigonometric function the answer we're getting is very close to a multiple of pi estimating it as negative 2 pi it's probably going to give you the right answer. In this case, it does.